this short film, I will show how to create a 3D model from DXF background. I start with reference file opening. I choose file units and I have possibility to import only desired layers. After import, it is possible to switch on or off any layer at any time. Next step is plate definition. I choose polygon branch and select an option which enables contour definition by clicking subsequent points. During this task, I can change point definition mode at any moment. As I would like to define plate contour in walls axis, I choose a mode which automatically finds middle point between two clicked points. It is also possible to find points on a line's intersection and easily remove incorrectly defined point. Agent form is a parametric mass modeler, so after contour definition, program automatically creates a mass and assigns to it just defined polygon. I can close point definition by clicking first or last point. To do it, I use default point definition mode in which program automatically finds the closest point from background. It is possible to perform this task in loop if there is a need to create more plates or openings in plates, or restart this task at any moment later. When mass is created, I have possibility to assign appropriate height to it. In this case, it will be story height. At any moment, I can hide or display any drawing's elements. Here I switch off dimensions. Also I can narrow selection region by window. Then I start walls definition. In dialog I can set some parameters. Default top openings level, wall material, layers for wall definition and optionally layers for windows and door descriptions. If available, it will help to automatically restore opening heights. Automatic selection of collinear lines can significantly accelerate this task. So I click two lines which create a wall and program automatically select all lines belonging to this wall. After clicking one of already defined lines, program automatically restores the whole elevation, including openings dimensions. After validation in dialog, wall with correct width is defined on appropriate line and elevation is assigned to it. Structural elements can be defined on enlarged 2D viewer or standard. In this case, 3D model is visualized in parallel. For clarity, I can switch off visibility of plates and masses. Program also is able to correct some problems on drawing. If lines are not correct in some places, by default program can recognize them as openings. By changing opening type to wall in validation dialog, we can get desired solution. As in the 3D model, top openings level can vary for different walls. In validation dialog, we can correct it if necessary. Program also helps to distinguish between real openings in walls and breaks in walls. It can be done by choosing appropriate opening type in validation dialog. In case of break, program will generate separate walls. By clicking right mouse button, I finished current definition. I can change some parameters like top openings level and define internal walls. These walls will be assigned to internal lines, which will be automatically created and adjusted to existing model. I continue walls definitions. If selected lines create a wall without any openings, then validation dialog doesn't appear and wall is added automatically. In other case, the user needs to confirm proposed parameters or make adjustments. This half-automatic way of working seems to be the only possible as in general case it is not possible to automatically recover 3D model from 2D drawing due to different reasons, like for example errors on drawings or top levels of openings which usually are not available to recover from drawings. In a situation where automatic selection of collinear lines doesn't work correctly, 
namely select some lines which don't belong to current wall, then it is necessary to switch off this option. Then the user should manually select all necessary lines and next the procedure is the same as previously. Positions of breaks in walls are by default determined by opening maximum width. So now I can finally close masonry walls definition. In this example there are also some concrete walls, so it is necessary to change material. I assigned another one from material database. Also I change a layer for wall definition. Program will select only lines belonging to this layer even if lines from another layer will be visible and will be closer to clicking point. So in the same way as previously I will quickly define concrete walls. Thanks to different material color and 3D visualization it is easy to verify if walls are defined correctly. On this example we can see that in comparison to standard model creation this method can save a lot of time. Of course 3D models can be imported by IFC format but in general these models are geometrical and must be corrected before calculations. We can also define other elements like beams or columns. Here I will add two columns by choosing columns as element type and clicking inside closed contour. Program automatically recognizes columns section and places columns on appropriate lines. Now our sample model is finished and in next step it will be sent to Autodesk Robot Structural Analysis software. It will be done by using dedicated API interface and saving it in RTD format. Model is exported in RTD format in calcula is calculation model, so after opening it in robot, it is generally ready for calculations. Now we are in Autodesk Robot Structural Analysis environment. I start with opening RTD file, which has been just saved by agent form program. Now let's verify our model. I will perform calculations on default settings to check whether mesh will be generated correctly. Models generated by agent form software are practically always correct, even in more complicated cases. Here I display also displacements in Z direction for self weight to be sure that everything is OK. Models generated by agent form can be easily connected to building information modeling workflow. Here I save our model in IFC format, which is commonly perceived as building information modeling file exchange standard. I open it in one of available IFC viewers to verify that all defined elements have been exported. Don't hesitate to profit from unique agent form software features to improve your design workflows. Thank you very much for your attention.